Uh, the disaster that is behind me is the temporary space for, um, well, I guess it's called Stone Ridge Stickers now, because uh, this video is all about how I changed the name of my store. It was previously called the Book Launch Planner, named after my product, the Book Launch Planner, but because I'm opening up the store to other types of products outside of the Book Launch Planner, like stickers and pins and blah blah blah, I wanted to rename it Stone Ridge Stickers since the main focus will be stickers, but we're also going to sell other stuff as well. But today is a fun behind the scenes video where I kind of tell you how that name change process happened and also stick around because there's a huge sale going on in the store to celebrate the name change and help make the shift during that name change process. Now some of you may remember my basement of my house was flooded not once but twice. I made a video about it uh, and that's why everything for the book launch planner um, or sorry Stone Ridge stickers that's why everything for my store is now here scattered about this room it's utter chaos. The basement is dry, but everything's kind of destroyed. <laughs> Not everything, but there's one piece of furniture in particular that I need to replace before I can move everything back down there. So until that happens, this is my workspace. It's a mess. I will say the one advantage of this workspace is having this nice comfy bed. Um, so I figured I'd talk to you here. So to make the name change happen, uh, I have my trusty notebook and basically I made a long list of to do's that I need to do in order to shift all of the branding, which is a lot more work than I anticipated. Now I already did most of the shifting um, because I was going to vlog it, but it was a very stressful day where I was just like doing 10 different tasks at the same time. But I've known I wanted to do this name change for a couple of months. I just kind of put it off because I wasn't sure if it was the right move. And I also knew that it was going to take a lot of work to make the name change happen. So to walk you through my to-do list, I'm just going to read through it. So. Uh, to do the branding shift, I need to change the name of the store on Shopify because that's where my store is hosted through. I need to change the URL. So the URL used to be the Book Launch Planner and now it's StoneRidgeStickers.com. I still own both domains, however, and both domains still direct to the same website. So if people search www.thebooklaunchplanner.com, the store will sh still show up and all of the links in my old videos with the old URL will still work, which is the beauty of owning both the URLs. It made the shift a lot easier. Uh, I need to create a new Instagram. This is really kind of what prompted the change because the Book Launch Planner Instagram became all about the stickers that I was releasing every month. And it felt like because of that, th that the book launch planner was being forgotten. So now I have two Instagrams for the store. We have at Stone Ridge Stickers, which is the store as a whole. And then we have at the book launch planner, which is now going to be an Instagram that is for writers, where I talk about the book launch planner and I talk about uh, writing and marketing and publishing tips. So that's going to be much more of a like tip heavy Instagram. Uh, it might take me a little bit to make that shift, but that's what the goal is. Whereas at Stone Ridge Stickers is going to be very much about what products are in the store. Uh, besides creating a new Instagram, I wanted to create a new email. By that I mean a new email address. So previously the email address for the store was info at thebooklaunchplanner.com. Now it's info at stoneridgestickers.com. That way all the customer services emails are through this new email now. Uh, I need to change the branding and by branding I mean like I had to create branding colors and I had to create a new logo which I think is yeah that's a separate to do in here is design a new store logo so obviously I need to design the logo first and then figure out what the branding for the store would be as a whole. 
I had to make the announcement, which was basically just an Instagram post, and now I'm doing it even more formally here. I had to change the branding on the website, I had to change the URL on the stickers themselves, so the sticker sheet, all the sticker sheets at the bottom of them have the URL of the store. Right now the URL is thebooklaunchplanner.com and going forward I want to change that to stoneridgestickers.com. So that's why, like I said, at the end of this video I'm going to tell you about a sale that's going on because I want to sell all the stickers that have that branding on them and have that old URL on them just so going forward as I get new customers into the store people won't be confused as to why the stickers say thebooklaunchplanner.com. Uh, I want to print a card to explain the name change for orders. So I have this little piece of paper that I just printed out and cut myself and I slip it into orders now to explain like hey the name has changed the same products but all that's changing is the name of the store and there's also a new Instagram that you can follow that's basically the essence of what is in the little card wanted to order new business cards now I've never had business cards for my store because the name change was always kind of in the back of my mind so I never really went through with it but now that I have a definite name for the store I ordered new business cards and they're here and I love them so much I wanted to email the newsletter so the book launch planner or now it's called Stone Ridge Stickers, has its own separate newsletter, so I wanted to send that newsletter out to explain to everyone what was happening and also tell them about the sale. Wanted to create subcategories for the stickers. So previously when you were, went shopping on the store and you went shopping for stickers, it was all under one category, but I wanted to create subcategories on the stickers. That way if you were looking for specifically writing stickers, you could look at just writing stickers or if you were looking for decorative stickers, you could look at just decorative stickers. Or if you were looking for just uh, the calendar stickers, you could look at just calendar stickers. You get the idea. I wanted to make the stickers more organized on the site to hopefully encourage sales. And then because I had so many to-dos, I had to uh, turn the page and write down more to-dos. Uh, I wanted to contact my affiliates. I have an affiliate program for the store. Um, if you want to learn more about it, it will be linked down below, but basically anyone can join and you have an affiliate code, um, like an affiliate coupon that you can give to your followers, and then you have an affiliate link where you can get, I believe it's 10% for each sale you get. So. It's an awesome program. I think it's great, but I wanted to email my affiliates separately to let them know what was going on so there was no confusion there. Uh, one to-do that I haven't gotten around to yet, and I don't know when I'll get around to it, probably when I'm really done making this shift, but I wanted to join Crate Joy. So one of the big reasons that this name shift happened was that I wanted to branch outside of just reaching writers because at the beginning my stickers were very writer focused and I still want to do that and I still want to design more writing stickers but I didn't want to be stuck in that niche I wanted to just market to people who wanted to decorate their journals and their planners and different things like that so I wanted to join Crate Joy which is basically like this search engine for finding subscription boxes and I wanted to sign up there so I could list Stick Together Monthly which is my sticker subscription but it just didn't make sense to list my sticker subscription if my store name was the book launch planner I thought that would be confusing to customers who learn about me through Crate Joy and who subscribe to me just for those decorative stickers. So that's kind of the real like reasoning behind everything. Um, and once I'm fully done with this name shift and I'm feeling comfortable, that's when I'm gonna sign up for Crate Joy to hopefully get even more customers for Stick Together Monthly. Um, which is something that I really like enjoy doing every month and really want to expand on and I have so much fun designing the stickers um, So yeah, we're definitely getting into the portion of my list where I haven't done any of these to do's yet But another to do is to update my newsletter landing page right now the landing page 
basically just says the book launch planner and sign up for this and that. Um, so I just want to update the landing page to be very generic, I guess, to Stone Ridge stickers and all the products as a whole. That way there's no confusion. With that said, I also need to update the newsletter welcome email so whenever sign someone signs up for the newsletter, they get an email welcoming them and explaining like what the book launch planner is. But obviously, I need to update that content so it just explains what the store sells and what the store is all about. And the last thing on my to-do list, at least for now, because I'm sure I'll come up with other things, is to create a YouTube video announcing it. And that's what I'm doing right now. So enough talking, let's package a few orders. This corner's a little chaotic right now, uh, but this is where I do most of my, my packaging because, you know, that's all I got. Uh, but we have my entire stock of stickers, and again, I'll tell you about the sale in a second. Uh, but it's got exciting stuff over here because we have the new business cards, and I think they are so cute. They're simple. I just wanted the logo, the website, and the uh, Instagram handle. Um, so I plan on having these business cards in every order and then also um, when I do vendor fairs to have this business card. And then uh, I always seal all of my orders with like a little cute round stickers. Uh, I started with just the one for the book launch planner where all orders were sealed with the book launch planner logo and then when I started to do stick together monthly I created a special sticker just for stick together monthly but now since the store name changed and now I have a the logo for the store itself um, so most orders will now go out with this new logo and then any orders for the book launch planner get the logo for the book launch planner and any orders for stick together monthly get the logo for stick together monthly is that confusing or what? And then this, this little pile of excitement here is very fun because like I said, part of the store expanding is that I want to start doing new products and a way of testing that out is through the book adventure box. And the book adventure box um, is a kind of box that I designed. So as you read uh, Meet Me at the Summit, you have gifts to open that have to do with the book. And one of those gifts, because I said I was going to reveal it, uh, reveal one or two gifts and then leave the rest as surprises. But one of the gifts is this VW bus pin. And oh my god, it's so cute. I love it so much. So I got the pin designed and I got a bunch of them printed. And then I got business cards to put the pin on. The only way you can get this pin right now is to order the book adventure box. They were a pin will be included in every single order. I promise you it is well worth it. There is a limited stock of the book adventure box, so get it while you can. Um, we are about half sold out, and then once it's gone, it's gone. I won't be putting the box back in stock. Um, and then we have the pins here, and then another item for the box is in this box, and I promise you it's so cute. So what I'm most excited for for this box is the enamel pin and then what is in this box here, which I'm not going to reveal yet. But again, I promise you it's super, super exciting. So when you order the book adventure box, you can either order it as a signed paperback box where you get the paperback and it's signed or you can get it just the box. And when you get it just the box, you'll also get a signed book plate. And just in case you didn't believe me, here's an entire box 
of books that I'm so, so excited about. I have about, I think, four boxes full of Meet Me at the Summit, and uh, some of them are for the book adventure box and others are for when I do vendor fairs and I will be signing and selling these at vendor fairs. Okay, it's time to wrap up this video by telling you guys about the super, super fun sale that's going on that has to do with this box of stickers here. So, um, what's happening? <laughs> Like I mentioned earlier, I'm trying to remove all the branding that says the book launch planner, which is basically just this URL at the bottom here. So I want to sell out of all my stickers that I have that have that URL on it. So um, to do that, I basically took inventory of all my stickers because I don't normally do that. I just print them and sell them as the orders come in. But I do tend to have a backlog of stickers. So for example, this camping decor set. I only have three stickers left and um, to help with getting these out of stock all my stickers are a dollar off so normally they're three dollars and fifty cents so like this is normally three dollars and fifty cents now it is two dollars and fifty cents but it's for limited time meaning once I sell all three of these camping decor stickers they are sold out and will eventually be re-released with the new URL, but when they're re-released with the new URL, it'll be $3.50 rather than $2.50. So like I said, there's limited stock. And in most cases, that's how much stock I have. So again, for the ocean decor, I only have three left. For the honeybee decor, I have four left. Um, but then for others, there's a lot less. So for example, I have this Instagram set of stickers. This is the last one. And so once this is sold out, it's going to be sold out for a while. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm low on stock in so I can tell you guys. I only have two laptop word count stickers left. Uh, I only have two word count open book stickers left. So as you can see, quite a bit of these are already starting to sell out, like my Preptober stickers are sold out, but I will be releasing like new Preptober stickers, so don't worry about that. There will be new Preptober stickers. My NaNoWriMo stickers, I only have one set of NaNoWriMo stickers left, and then my October stickers are sold out. So this is my pile of stickers that are sold out and that just means they're sold out for the sale. They will be back in stock eventually, um, but you won't be able to get them on sale. So if you're super, super excited about having a dollar off on all the sticker sheets, then go ahead, start shopping, get the stickers while you can, because each type of sticker, there's like usually about three sets left of each, so get it while you can. <sighs> okay, that was a lot of talking. Remember, Meet Me at the Summit releases this month, so if you haven't pre-ordered yet, make sure you do that. When you pre-order, you can fill out the form, which is linked down below, so you can get free goodies like stickers and a signed book plate and a postcard. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button.